Have you seen the new featured setting on LinkedIn? So it's now on your profile. If you scroll down, you'll see the featured images and it's much improved in the way that it looks on LinkedIn. So how do you do it? What do you do? You click the plus sign at the top and now you have a choice of posts. So this is the LinkedIn post that you want, might want to, to share as a featured image on your profile. There's articles, that's a longer form post that you can do on LinkedIn. You can share those. There's links and there's photos, documents, presentations, videos. So that was always there. Uh, now I'm going to focus on links because links was the thing that was always weak on LinkedIn. They always looked pretty poor. So let's show you how to do links. So we click on here, it takes you in your website that you want to take people to. Get an image pulled in from your website. That was maybe not the perfect one I'd want for my site, but it's there anyway. Got a title. And then underneath you've got just an opportunity to write in the description. So what I would do here is I'd make it much more of a call to action. So I would write on here, check out our training programs. Or programs, from programs. And then I click save. And you can see here now what happens is it appears nice and bold and beautiful. Now looking at it now, I can see that the description is too long to fit in this box. Here's one I prepared earlier in good blue Peter fashion. And you can see here, nice smart headline and then find out more about how we can help your business on our website. So look at this and then go back into it and you click on your edit and edit it and make sure it's all right and fits the criteria that you want it to look like to make it look good. And you can save it there. So have a play, make sure your featured images are all up to date and are the best things for your business and to meet your objectives.